If you're in visual effects or any other industry that's starting to transition some of its workloads onto the cloud, and you're starting to say test out costs and maybe testing out a few situations on the cloud, chances are that those tests are gonna be flawed. And you need to be really careful about using those tests as reasons for why the cloud doesn't work. Chances are you're just using your current pipeline and you're expecting everything to just work. And in reality, when you're on the cloud, you have to think about how you run your workloads in a totally different way. So in order to experience where those cost savings may be, it requires continuous interaction because it requires your ingenuity to change the way you think about how you run workloads in order for it to make sense and for it to be more efficient. If you take a workload that you normally run and you, you know, chuck on extra compute onto your studio through a VPN or something like that and you, you just run those workloads as you normally would, then you're, you're not going to get uh, the benefits or the maximum benefits. You might have situations that do make sense to do that, but you're not going to be experiencing where the true cost savings can be by running workloads in that way. You have to change the way artists think about how they're running workloads. You have to change your tools. You have to change when it makes sense to run full passes, uh, how you run your simulation data out, it doesn't make sense to cop, you know, run simulations in one location and transfer huge amounts of data across the internet in, to in order to render it. It also doesn't make sense to run full iterations all the time just because the resource is there. So you have to be able to effectively gauge what final output's going to look like before you're actually rendering it because even in effects, simulation normally is the thing that we don't like the most because of the time it takes. But on the cloud, the situation's kind of reversed because you realize just how cheap simulation is compared to the cost of rendering. And because that dynamic's just been flipped, you need to think about how, for example, in the effects department, you need to think about how you're running your simulations and you're testing your final output or you're, you're ramping up to testing your final output and you need to streamline those workflows. So one way of doing that is maybe you run simulations and you run automatic flipbooks before you get a pop-up on the screen that the artist can say, okay, I want to render that. And then they say, render it. You'd probably want to run a first, middle, last and then re and render that and then have another approval process and then you run it on tens and then you have another approval process and maybe you want to turn off these features at night but those type that type of thinking could save a lot of money because the cost of a failed iteration on the cloud is way more in your face than it is in the studio and the flip side of this is those types of workflows by changing the way you think about how you run your workflows on the cloud it's going to change the way that you actually run them on site as well because you can imagine that now that that cost is so in your face and you really get to see where where your expensive failures are bringing that type of way of thinking back into the studio uh, will actually change the efficiency of your entire uh, on-prem render farm so you know, that's just an example of how, you know, you need to change the way you're thinking about how you're running your tests on the cloud in order to gauge whether or not using the cloud makes sense. Because the way you're currently testing, unless you've fully leveraged all of the ways to improve efficiency on the cloud, you're not going to have the numbers to justify probably doing it. Uh, and if you go in there blindly, you're going to probably ramp up really crazy costs and you're going to, you're going to get burnt by it and you're probably never going to touch it for another few years.